Welcome to another 31 Days of Halloween. Today I'm going to show you how to make this terrarium graveyard. I got the dome at Target. It's in the Halloween section. I think it's about $7.99. Then you're going to get some moss from Target or Michaels. These crystals I had laying around the house. And these graveyard things are from Michaels as well. These lights are from Amazon. And the styrofoam was just laying around the house. So what you're going to do is shape the styrofoam into a, kind of like a hill-like thing and then wrap the lights around it. The lights I had for some other projects, so they're very, very long. Uh, I would recommend getting less lights than what I used. Um, but I just had it sticking out the back and then I start covering the styrofoam with moss. I'm not using hot glue because it's styrofoam, it will melt. But if you don't use styrofoam as your base, you can definitely use hot glue. You might burn your fingers though. So I just apply the moss everywhere. Then on the base, I put some more tacky glue and just apply moss everywhere so that it kind of has a cohesive like connection when you put the little hill that you made on top of it. So it looks a lot better and then you just have it fitting then you take the a little bit of like jewelry wire or whatever wire you have laying around the house that's really thin and can fit through these crystal beads that I got and I also attached those to the bottom of the tombstones I used tape because of course I didn't have hot glue on hand and because it's not going to be moving around much so a little bit of tape is perfect and you just stick it in another good thing about the styrofoam as your base is that you can stick these little wires in easier so you just decorate it in any way you like in any kind of structure i had a bunch of different types of crystals that i had gotten at the gem show so i just started putting them through i was also thinking about putting little bats in but i think i'm going to leave it the way it is for now and maybe add some flying bats later and I hope you really liked it. It's a really cool little DIY that I came up with out of my head. If you have any questions about it, please leave them in the comments below. I will see you tomorrow for another video. Bye!